namaste and welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new here my name is Jimpy, and if you can do me a favor and smash that subscribe button down below i would really really appreciate it and if you have been on my channel before then you may recognize how everything kind of looks different in the background and that is because we just moved last week into a new place and I had posted it on my Instagram, which by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should totally do so. And yeah, so basically we moved last week and I'm still not done setting up this new place. Um, I'm kind of done for the most part, but there's still small things remaining here and there, which I still need to set up. As you can see in the background, I have a Louis Vuitton bag. I haven't found a place to put that yet. I didn't really get anything new. It's just a box and a bag. It's the box that my Neverfull came in. It's a very flat box. So that's there. I also have some other messy things in the background. So never mind that. And I have my Michael Kors bag on the other side. That's the one I'm using right now. That's the one I used during the move. Um, so anyways, I didn't really get time to film any other video. I couldn't post anything earlier this week. But I really wanted to film this because it's been a while and I didn't want to go a week without filming anything. So here I am still trying to film in the messy background. So forgive me for that. But as far as today is concerned, I want to talk about three of my worst luxury purchases. I was tagged to do this video by my lovely friend, Francesca. I'm going to leave a link to her channel as well as her video in the description box down below. So be sure to check it out. But as far as a video like this is concerned, I feel like they are a lot of fun in the sense that you don't just get to learn from your own mistakes, but you also get to learn from a mistake that someone else has made. And for me particularly, this kind of video gives me a lot of new perspective into looking at a handbag and how to use it and kind of gives me an insight into why something did work for somebody. So I really enjoy something like this and learning from others mistakes and I really hope that you guys do as well. So without further ado, let me talk about my three worst luxury handbag purchases. So the very first purchase that I want to talk about is the Louis Vuitton Clemence wallet. Now this wallet was actually really, really special to me. I got it on my birthday. So it was a birthday present from myself to myself and it was my very, very first luxury piece. So it was very special to me. But um, as I used it more and more, I realized that some of the features of this wallet really didn't work for me. So for example, the cards used to always get stuck into the flap where the main zipper is. So I will insert some pictures here so you guys can get an idea in case you guys don't know what the wallet looks like. But this wallet is very, very popular and everybody seems to be loving this wallet. So hopefully I don't offend any of the Clements wallet lovers but like I said it just really didn't work for me because I would be at a cash register trying to pay and take my cards out really quickly and then almost every single time the cards would get stuck in the flap and then I would have to take the time and maneuver it and take it out and then because of that I ended up stretching the card slots as well so it was just getting really annoying it was really frustrating and then on top of that this wallet has a middle section for coins and that one has zipper too. So the zipper tab would also get stuck into the main zipper of the wallet. So altogether, it was just very, very difficult to deal with this wallet. And I feel like um, I always felt like I was putting in extra effort to use this wallet and to make sure that I don't damage it. So anyways, I ended up selling it and instead of that one, I got the Emily wallet and I still have that wallet and I love that wallet. And I think the main reason for that is because the cards don't really get stuck into any flaps because it doesn't have any zipper flaps. So yeah, that was basically my very first purchase that I really regret. And um, it's kind of sad because it was my very first kind of luxury purchase and it didn't work for me and I had to sell it. So it was definitely kind of a sad experience, but I'm so glad that I ended up selling it because I feel like even if I had kept it with me, 
thinking that it's my very first purchase and I must have it. I don't think I would have used it. Now moving on to the second purchase that I regret the most and this is Petite Noe in the Epi Leather Denim. So once again from Louis Vuitton and at the time when I got this I loved bucket bag. So I actually still like bucket bag style and I was really looking for something that is carefree and I can use in all weather all seasons. So I ended up ordering this one and as soon as I got it it was it was definitely a really nice bag, but it was very, very stiff. And that was kind of expected because it is a leather bag. But just because it was in a bucket style, it was sticking out from my body quite a bit. And the leather was so stiff. So um, every time I would try and close the bag, so the drawstring was very, very stiff and it would end up not closing at all. It would keep opening and I would have this huge bucket kind of on my shoulder. And in fact, I've done a review video on this bag as well. So if you're interested in checking it out, I will leave it up here or in the description box down below. But basically the bag itself was really good. But like I said, it was very stiff and I felt like I just didn't want to wait for the leather to calm down and not be so stiff anymore. And it was a very expensive bag. It was over 2000 and I felt like for that kind of money, I just needed to love the bag a little bit more. So I ended up returning it um, within like two or three days right after getting it because I felt like I was just not able to deal with a bag like that. And thank goodness I was within that time frame where I could still return the bag. So I did and I have no regrets whatsoever. And now I'm starting to feel that Although I really love the Noe styles, they're just not working out for me because I tried the Noe BB, I've even tried Petite Noe, I've tried it in the canvas version, and I've even tried it in the Epi Leather version, and none of them seemed to work. Like something came up every single time I tried to keep the Noe bags. So I think I'm really done trying the Noe bags. Even now, like once in a while, I log on to the website and I browse through the Noe bags because I really love the style. But I feel like the style is just not made for me. It's just too cumbersome for me. And yeah, I have multiple videos on this Noe bags and each time something comes up and I don't have this bag anymore. So we'll see how it goes in the future. But for now, this is definitely the second most purchase that I regret the most. Now moving right along, we are now down to my very last worst luxury purchase. And if you guys are still with me, I would really appreciate it if you can consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the red button down below. And also make sure to hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. But like I said, the very last purchase, very last worst luxury purchase that I want to talk about is my Louis Vuitton at Riverside. And when it comes to this bag, I really don't know where to even begin because if you guys have been following me for a while, then you guys may remember how this bag was my wedding present from my husband. So it's very special to me. And I was the one who picked this bag and I told him that I wanted this bag as my wedding present. So it's all on me, but basically when I picked this bag, I was really into big bags with lots and lots of sections, which is exactly what this bag is. It's got so many sections. It's got two big pockets and then a middle zipper pocket as well as a front pocket here. So it's a huge bag. It fits quite a bit. It even fits a 13 inch laptop. So. This bag is really good in that sense and it's very pretty. Every time I wear this bag, I get tons and tons of compliments. People seem to really, really love this bag. It looks very pretty as well. So I still love this bag and I don't think I'm ever getting rid of it because it is my wedding present, but do I regret getting it? Yes, I do. I think if I could go back in time and kind of redo this whole thing, then I would definitely pick a Speedy or an Alma or something. I don't think I would pick this one. And uh, there are a couple of reasons for it, really not a big deal, but every time I wear this bag on my shoulder, I feel like it just kind of swings open. 
I don't know what it is, maybe because of the way it's opening or the fact that it is a big bag. Um, it just kind of swings open and I don't really like that. And also the handles here. Initially, when I got this bag for the first year, I used it um, as a handheld quite a bit. So for the first year when I got this bag, I used it so much and I always used it like this. So because of that, I feel like the handles have stretched a little. And even if you see it right now, I feel like the handles are a little bit crooked. So I don't really like that, but for the most part, it's okay. It's not too bad. So like I said, it's not my worst purchase, but it's definitely something that I regret and I probably would not buy again. So that really does it for today's video. Those were my three luxury purchases that I regret the most, or you can say those were my three worst luxury purchases. Once again, thank you so much, Francesca, for tagging me to this video. I just love being tagged. So thank you so much once again. Thanks to all of you for watching. Please like this video. Give this video a big, big thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys very, very soon in another video. I really can't wait. Till then, take care. Stay safe. Bye.